talk about one of my favorite plants, and it's the lupa. I'm standing in front of it, these beautiful yellow flowers. We're late summer right now here in the Dallas Fort Worth area. You plant this plant from seed. This is one plant from one seed that you're looking at here. Obviously, you need to give it some room. But not only is it a beautiful decorative plant, you can see the black bumblebees on it. It's a wonderful uh, uh, attractant for the pollinators. And it also is a, an interesting food. A lot of people will actually eat the small bluefoots. When the lupins are this size, they can be uh, chopped and cooked just like uh, squash or zucchini or something like that. But what most people do with this beautiful vine, is, here's another one here, uh, is to let the lupins go all the way to maturity, which means uh, they stay on the plant, they'll get to be uh, over a foot long, or about this big around, they'll turn brown with frost, and it's not until then that you harvest the mature lupus. Uh, you crack them, take the skin off, slice them, and turn them into uh, scrubbing devices for the kitchen or for something for your back in the shower. It's a, it's a great plant. has a lot of uses, and I recommend you try it. We have a lot of lupus seed that we have collected, and I'm going to try to set up a situation on our website where we can make some of those seed available uh, to the uh, members and to the readers and listeners of the show.